I like this music. Don't look. That you didn't see it. You have comics? I do. Wait. There we go. Read what? Excuse me? Yeah. I don't talk about them. Listen. Um, wait. Is jump not space? Is there no jump in this game? Critter Comics. It's now. It is called Critter Comics. Um... Yeah, I don't talk about my comics at all, basically, with the channel. Because, not for, like, it, it's a decision, but not that I don't want people to know. But, I don't know. I'm not good at promoting myself. And I just, I guess, I, uh, I don't know. It, it's just, it didn't seem appropriate to me to, like, you know, talk about one thing I do and another thing I do. Yo, we have Skull. Um, I think I did tell the story, but basically the reason I even have a YouTube channel is because of my comics. Because I, I basically asked someone, like, I asked my f fans of the comic, like, hey, would, would you guys watch uh, Caves of Cud if I, I streamed it? Because someone asked, like, what's your favorite game? And I was like, Caves of Cud, probably. And, uh... And people are like, oh, I've never heard of that. I'm like, well, would you like to watch some of it? And so that's why I have a YouTube channel is because of my comics. So in order to, you know, of course, make up for that, I don't... Oh, there's a spider. Spooky spider. That's awesome. There's going to be more content coming to Feels, but it's not in early access. Oh, okay. Well, then in that case, I will check it out. I thought, because when I saw that they did an update, it was like, chapter two is coming. I'm like, oh, so they're, they're like not, they're not done yet. Excuse me? Why did I take damage? A secret has been revealed. Ow. Oh, there's a spider. Spooky spider. Ow. Ow. Wow, I took a lot of damage from that spider. Is it Delver? What's that game? I'm a bit lost. This is Delver. This is a first-person roguelike-ish game. Can we pick up some mushrooms? Nope. I haven't played very much of this game. I played it when it was still in early access. I did beat it at the time, and I basically never touched it again. After I beat it. I need another rock or something. I might have to turn down the... the Mouse sensitivity. It's pretty sensitive right now. Can you cut cut tree with bone? I'm like hearing something over here. Is there anything over here? No, but I can break bone on tree. That was my last weapon. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, there was a dagger there the whole time. My bad. I'm, I'm glad that I went back. How much is that game? Uh, I think it's $15. Or are you talking about feels? Also, RGB, I'm pretty sure you're the only follower. <laughs> of both my comics and, and stream. Like, the maybe the only one that, like, f continued watching the channel, which I do appreciate. I didn't expect basically any follow over. Hey, excuse me, where did you come from? Stabby, stabby. This is basically Minecraft, right? 
Got some leather. Oh, we need a light. Oh, spooky traps. Can you play Shrek in this game? If you can't, this game sucks. That's quite a hill you've died on there. I uh, can't say I approve, but I will respect it. Get the ice wand. Can I put... The oh, I, I meant to put that on. Okay. Ice wand. Wand! Yo, this thing is great. I'm assuming it's not gonna last forever. Oh, oh god! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It, uh, it's just that links to YouTube in Webtoon don't work well properly. Yeah, that's true. Death was not the end. It was the beginning. Oh, well. I tried this on mobile. This looks way better. Death worth buying it a second time. Uh, that was an amazing death. It was almost the outer, uh, outer worlds, sorry, outer wilds soundtrack. I love that soundtrack so much. Hey, adventurer, are you planning on going into those ruins? It's dangerous. If I were you, I'd want to be stocked up on supplies before going into that place. Thankfully, your pal Joff here sells everything you could possibly need. Well, thank you, Joff. Can't afford both a bow and arrows, so... Eh. I will buy a chainmail coif of the mind, though. Sure. Joff supplies. Hello, traveler. I didn't see you arrive. This place has always been a beacon for those properly attuned. Do you feel it now? For the most ma more magically inclined, such as myself, this is a great place to enchant scrolls and artifacts. I have some scrolls prepared that I could part with for the right price. Otherwise, please let me return to my meditations. What kind of game? What kind of name is Joff? The kind of name uh, given to a... Oh, never mind. I'm, I have a lot of jokes I can't make today because they just veer right off of acceptable. I was going to make a joke about Joffrey from Game of Thrones, but I can't say... I can't just say incest, baby, okay? that That's not okay. That's not acceptable. Not for my... My, my level of, of quality of content and of, of comedy and humor is much higher than just throwing out words like incest, baby. What do we have here? Another treasure hunter? You won't listen to me. They never do, but the best thing for you is to leave. Not many who go and ever leave that place. Even less with their wits. Get notes on battle. Okay, how do we... Let's look at that. Notes on battle, third edition. A focused attack will always hit. Even in battle, a little planning goes a long way. Focus an attack by holding down the attack button until fully charged, then release. Take stock of your belongings before charging ahead. Put things on a belt for easy access in battle. Drag items to your belt at the top of the screen for quick access. Always have an exit and know where you are. Keep a map to avoid getting lost. Use your map and minimap to view where you have been already and where to go next. Drinkies. Nope, never mind. No drinkies. I have not played Outer Wilds. Should I buy it instead of food this month? No. What? 
100% buy food. It's a very good game. It's the closest game to, like, being worth more than food, but clearly food is more important. Do I need this bowl? We can have a candle and a weapon. It's right where they said it was. These look like old Mage Empire runes. Seems likely from what's left anyway. Rumor says that it, in their constant striving for more power, they made their own undoing here. I say more for us. Is a good game, Outer Worlds is terrible. Uh, I, I definitely did not enjoy Outer Worlds as, as much as I hoped I would. Are you 100% sure? I love Outer Wilds a lot, but please buy food. Unless it's extra food, you know? Like, if you're like, should I buy Outer Wilds or a pizza? Outer Wilds is possibly the one of the very few games I would say is worth more than buying a pizza. Oh, fine, shortbow. Say no more. Do, uh, do weapons have durability? How come my... Oh, does this take two hands? Ah, that's why. This this music is very good. Oh, I don't have any I don't have any arrows. Hmm. Okay, we can't do that. Some really nice music in this game. Hello. Hello. What? Ah! Hello. Ow! Level up. Choose your fate. Um, let's get some more health for starters. Oh! Oh, Jesus! Uh, no, it's just food, food. I really liked Outer Worlds. The writing was fun and whimsical. I mean, that's fair. I I wanted to like it. I just found the combat to be a bit shallow. And that's why I, I didn't really get into it as much as I wanted. It did have good writing, though. Oh, slime. Slime in the jar. Classic. Oh. Okay. I'm I'm taking damage, but I'm I'm learning the ropes here. I would like some arrows. I, I gotta turn the sensitivity down. It's a bit better. Wow. He died so hard he his cheese fell out. Uh, I knew that was going to hurt me, and I did it anyway. Okay, can we heal? Uh, not moldy yet. We restore some health with that. Scroll of Enchant Armor. Uh, I'm, I'm sensing a bit of brogue in this game. Uh, I'm glad you said so. I was on the fence with Outer Worlds. This game giving me some heavy vibes from other games I don't remember. Outer Worlds is super generic, and like Big said, the... Uh, 
I listen. I I think that Outer Worlds, based on its the strength of its writing, is a good game. Um, and you don't necessarily need deep combat to for a game to be good. Um, that's just like what what I like. But then again, I don't really care super a lot about story. So, um, you know, I just don't want to invalidate someone else's enjoyment of of a game by saying it's bad. Because it wasn't bad. It wasn't all bad. There's some really good stuff in Outer Worlds. It's just, it wasn't for me. Fallout 4, on the other hand, is garbage. Oh, spider. Spooky spider. Uh, increases attack speed and movement speed while charging an attack. Okay, let's let's do that. I like this, like, randomized, like, kind of uh, picking stuff as you go along. Playing solo on Supernova difficulty is actually the easiest way to play the game. All the loner... Uh-oh. I'm reading comments and there's someone about to attack me. This is like one more dungeon, but good. Can you find new weapons? This dagger is gonna have no blades. soon. Oh, you're right. I didn't know that there was durability. Good catch. That's a really nice little attention to detail there. I saw a mace. I'm gonna pick up the mace. Hmm, I don't trust this. Supply tally, five crates of salted pork, six bundles of trail bread, and four cases of barley ale. Okay, thank you for that. Worn iron spiked mates. Okay, we have a mace now. This uh, dagger is for the, for the birds. Do I want a buckler? Like, I like kind of, I kind of like having light. My, my least favorite thing is looking over at chat and seeing that someone wrote something and then I don't get to see it because it got taken away. I mean, maybe there's a good reason and there probably was, but I'm like, what, what happened? Uh, I'm conflicted now because I love Fallout 4 after modding out with... I guess Fallout 4 has very good mod support. But, uh, like, I... Listen, we're gonna get on... You know, it's, it's time for Spicy Bimple again. Here we go. Spicy Bimple. It is, in my opinion, that mod support is kind of a bare minimum. It's something... Like, you know, I know it's extra time added to a game... But it only benefits the game. It only benefits, like, you know, everyone, basically. I just don't think that it's up to modders to fix a game. You know, like... Um... You know, like, the stuff that happened with Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, this is nothing, isn't it? Was really disgusting, in my opinion. Like... Um, you know, Rockstar or, or Private Division or whatever, whatever company, they they really like kind of trash their their modding community. Like the number of times they've they've thrown cease and desist at people that work on mods. Um, and like the mods have only improved any of any of those games, right? And then, uh, the, basically, the, the trilogy, the GTA trilogy um, remaster came out. And um, there were mods again to, like, you know, tweak things a, a bit. And I'm just like, I don't know why why y'all are doing this. Because, like, Rockstar and Private Division just do not respect mods at all. It's a lot of work. It's, it's basically just, it's more design. It's more dev time that someone is doing for free. It's basically what I said with spelling errors. 
There's enough light to see, so I guess you don't need it. Why are you playing Barony? <laughs> oh, good. This is this is a good joke. I get that joke. I got that reference. The mace is slow, but it's good damage. Do we have to replace our armor? Also, I had a book at one point. What does this book do? Uh, I think nothing. I like the physics in this game. It's pretty fun. Man, I, lo I really love this music. It's giving me the good vibes. I usually take down my comments if I have made a typo. Oh. Well, that is your choice. I mean, unless you said something blasphemous like Fallout 4 is good, then, uh, you know, I would never ridicule you based on a typo. Listen, I actually don't care. Fallout 4 is fine. It's it's whatever. It's just like... I don't know. It's, it's easy to rip on, which is why I'm ripping on it. You gotta... You know, if you want to rip on something, you gotta pick something that is just like societally accepted as being the thing to rip on, right? It's tricky these days because things fall in and out of fashion. I think our mace is broken. I'm gonna have to switch it up again. Like for instance, you could just say, hey guys, remember the prequels? They're bad and everyone go, ha ha ha, yes they are. And that would be the end of it. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying, I'm not saying if I like or dislike the prequels. That's not what this is about. If you want to be accepted, then you got to rip on things that are societally acceptable to rip on. Facts. Um, so, you know, Fallout 4, it's a good candidate. Pretty good. I don't think there's a lot of people that respect that game. Maybe I'm wrong. Like every roguelike is a copy of one or more roguelikes. The name of the genre is roguelike. YouTube is bad because it's only a platform for the community to add their content to. It does not provide anything by itself. This is related to the modding thing I was talking about. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Oh God, that scared me. There's your big simple reaction, your bimple reaction. Oh, there's, we found our way down. Who here has played um, Eldritch? I think it's called Eld, Eld, I think it's just called Eldritch. Ow. Wow, that hurt a lot. I am alive, though. We've got some really nice, like, environmental design in this game. Oh, actual arrows? No room. Oh, no. Um, we could enchant this chainmail coif. Yeah, and we'll get rid of this helmet. I hope that it, uh, armor does not have durability so we can actually use our bow next time didn't you hear now that the se sequel trilogy is out there are legitimately people who try to claim that the Star Wars prequels are now unironically good movies seeing how devs rely on the community to complete their games leaves me disgusted devs just sell the foundation and rely on communities to build their own games some devs for sure and I, I you know what let me let me let me be uh, contrarian for a moment here. Most of the time, not the devs, just the company. You know, the the company that manages that project. And like, if I'm gonna be even more of a contrarian here, it's like mostly just the lawyers that work for that for that company that are like doing weird stuff that no one wants and no one's bothering to like fight them on it.
Should I try and drink a potion? Restore health. Nice. That was a health restore potion. We can use bombs. Streets of Rogue is pretty good roguelike. I will play Streets of Rogue in a future stream. That is a big, simple promise. A bimple promise. The prequels weren't that bad. I love when I bring up the prequel. It's like, it's like, you know, chat, you kind of made my point for me. Like I was saying, literally, <laughs> that you can't, you know, you can, you can say that something is good or bad and, you know, you have to draw the hard line of like, okay, well, I know that everyone's cool with me ripping on the, the prequels, but now that the sequels are out, now it's kind of a hard line division. Now you can't say that they're bad anymore because there are people who like the prequels and not the sequels, right? So where, where do you go? What do you say? It's tricky, you know? And just, you know, as if on cue, I have in the comments, yeah, the prequels are bad. And then also the prequels weren't that bad. Level up. Kind of want to do attack. Melee and ranged weapons. Yeah, let's do attack. I agree the prequels weren't bad. My my comment, just to be clear, my the, the, the conversation right now is not about whether or not the prequels were bad. Oh, God. That was stupid. Um, it's about... Um, the divisive nature of a societally acceptable opinion. Things fall out of fashion. And if you want to be, you know, one of the guys... And who doesn't, you know? Like, we want to be one of the guys. And they're like, oh, them Bears games, right? How about them Mets? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta fall in line with the, the opinions that are good. The good opinions, you could say, you know? Gotta find, fall in line with them good opinions. Make sure you're on board. Make sure you get the memo. Get them acceptable uh, opinions memo. Ouch. Why? Ouch. Oh, I'm gonna die, actually. Uh... Well, that, that's the game over. Eat the cheese. Eat everything. Okay, we, we did it. I, I saved us somehow. Uh, you legit like the Ghostbusters 2016 movie, but can admit it's a shitty movie. It's okay to like garbage. Just know it's garbage. I mean, I guess so. Listen. We're gonna get into it in a minute, but I'm the patron saints. I've literally been called the patron saints of bad movie takes. That's me. I have all of the bad opinions. I collect them. I'm like some kind of hoarder. I'm a dragon and I sit atop my hoard of bad opinions about movies. Do you wanna know one of my best bad opinions about movies oh ho, ho, it's gonna get it's gonna get real spicy this is giving me the sickness oh this game because we were all woozy and stuff I am having this kind of weird problem with this game where I like my character whips around like real quick I don't know how to not do that I think I'm going to get rid of this candle. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of these notes. How about that? And also, let's switch to this bow and get rid of this bow. Range 4. 6 to 10, two-handed. Yeah, this, this one's, like, not nearly as good. Scroll of Enchant Armor. Let's use that. Discern Reality. And then we have a ring. We'll put the ring on. Hey, uh, 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 Gavin, you seem to know this game. Does this game have cursed, uh, objects? Like, other games of its ilk? Morbius is a masterpiece. Now, hey, listen, hey, listen, this is exactly, that is such a good example of exactly what I'm talking about. 
Did did anyone notice how immediately acceptable it was to rip on Morbius? Can I tell you how much of Morbius I've seen? Literally nothing. I haven't seen a trailer. I haven't seen a 10 or 5 second clip. I haven't heard one line of dialogue. Nothing. I have not heard or seen literally anything about Morbius. All I know is that everyone was on board at exactly the same time about the fact that Morbius is bad. It's the worst movie ever created. And it's exactly the perfect example of what I'm talking about, of the acceptable opinion. You are correct. Want to be one of the guys? Morbius was bad. Uh, sorry, no idea. I played it for like five minutes on mobile. Couldn't stand the controls. I had to get a refund on Raft Survival and Power Wash Simulator because of the motion sickness. Oh, I'm sorry, Andrino. It, I, I'm sorry I picked the one of the two games that were going to make you sick. Genuinely, I, I don't I don't want that. Um, I loved Venom and hated it. It was great. <laughs> That's amazing. What is Morbius? <laughs> yeah, my question exactly. What is Morbius? Morbius is the friends we made along the way. It's about Morbius morbing on people. None of us have watched it. Nobody's seen it. The movie doesn't actually exist. Never came to theaters. No one saw it. It's a myth. It's, a, it's like a cryptid. It's a movie that never happened, but everyone knows it's terrible. Oh, ouchies. Melee combat in this game is, a, is is something, I'll tell you what. Ouch. I thought you were gonna die. Leather pants. I think the, the these leather pants will not be as good. Yeah, they're not they're not. New helmet. It's not as good. We do have pretty good armor. Resist magic, we got a spell. Oh, this this guy's got 64 charges. Maybe I should use that. Wait, what's that other one? What is this? Oh, that's just my character. Uh, Morbius isn't that dude from Matrix. <laughs> that's Morpheus. Very funny. Uh, my favorite line from Morbius is, I'm about to go Morbo on these fools while he jumps into the Morbmobile. Is that actually true? Have you actually seen the movie? Are you having me on? I don't know. Judging from the description, it sounds like Ghost Rider. See, yeah, like I, I sit on the on the side of Ghost Rider was actually okay. You know, it's it's not a good movie. It's not a great movie, I should say, but it's a movie. It's enjoyable. Get gold candlestick. I don't know. I like. I kind of uh, long for movies like Ghost Rider these days, because like, I don't know. First of all. How many superhero movies, if you can call it that, are you going to get with Nicolas Cage? At this point, like, there was a time when Nicolas Cage was, was, the opinion was, the opinion was that Nicolas Cage is bad. And, you know, I can understand that. And everything he does is bad. But, I don't know. Is that, is that true? Who could say? I wouldn't say. I would. I would. I would never give a bad opinion. That would. That would just be. Why would I do that? You know. Also, why did it take me three smacks? 
bad is better than bland. I would agree with that. I'll take a, a f like, hilariously bad movie over one that's, like, forgettable. Why is Mace blue? Because it, it is enchanted. Uh, six to eight damage plus three attack. This is a better weapon, maybe? I should start using uh, some of these wands. They're, they're starting to add up. I haven't had one good night of sleep since stepping foot in this place. I'm getting so afraid that I might... That I keep hearing whispers even when nobody is around. Um, okay, I see. I see where I am to go. Fun. Did Nicholas Cage play in Groundhog Day? No, that's Bill Murray. Why? Ouchie! Am I gonna die now? Is this how I die? Uh, can you die of poison? Well, that kind of answers that question, but damn, are we close to death. All it's gonna take is someone to sneeze on us and we're dead. This is a nice wand. I like this wand. We have one health left. We have one health left. This is very scary. What's up here, do you think? <gasps> Heals? Oh, we, that is a heal. You feel warm. <gasps> nice. Amazing. Um, only people who watch Community knows what Cage is really about. Is Risk of Rain one good because I plan on getting it and it isn't... If it isn't, I really don't want to have to wait another 24 hours <laughs> for a refund. Are you going to finish the stream on this game? I think so, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. We could do Streets of Rogue next time. Cuz this is a this is a pretty long haul game. We got some cheese. This we really pulled this uh, uh ow. Why why do we have to have spiders in barrels? Why why spider barrels, huh? Um can you take fall damage? I don't know. Are you gonna finish uh the first one? I'm not sure, but R O R Red Risk of Rain one is good. It's very different from Risk of Rain two, so I would say it is worth getting, even if you have Risk of Rain two. It's a very different experience. Ouchies. Oh my god. Man, that sucks. You're dead. Wow. Aggressive. I leveled up. Maybe I should increase my magic. Adds additional charges and damage to magic wands. I think maybe more health? I don't know. Yeah, let's do some more health. Scroll of invisibility. I'm feeling kind of ill and hot. Take this game is kind of stinky. <laughs> uh, no, no worries. Have a good rest of the stream. Take it easy. Risk of Rain, Rain 1 is amazing at giving you a very specific experience. It's very much about managing ability cooldowns. New Vegas is like quality over quantity. 
Big, have you tried Noida? I have tried Noida. I have, uh, I have beaten Noida. I haven't beaten the best ending or whatever. But I did beat it. Is that bomb going to explode? What happened to it? Oh. What's up with this? This is weird. Is this an elevator? Oh. Wow. I took damage even with the distance I had, I had managed to get. Okay, we have our, our next floor down. I want to make sure I have room for for another weapon here. Um, I heard that ROR1 is good. You may be right, since I only played half an hour of the first one. Not my kind of game. We finished the tutorial boss in Noida. LOL. <laughs> There's too much Bethesda in 3 that makes it just off. Quantity ends up being quite shallow due to lack of God. Eh, Fallout is such a weird series to me. I've heard it all, you know, like Fallout 3 is good, Fallout 3 is not good, Fallout New Vegas is the best one. Hey buddy, did you meet my brother Joff outside? I'm Jeff. The ninth most important rule of business is to be bold. So I'm running our new startup location down here. All of our weapons and magical artifacts are locally sourced. Okay. Uh, I don't think I want any of these. Especially not the things I can't afford. It seems like you have a visitor. Yes, we do. It does not look like a traveler of the deep roads, but it is not under a thrall like the others here, is it? How curious. Long ago, I watched those like you dig deep into the earth here. Um, disturbing that which should have been left forgotten. Their work lies ahead down this path. Anyway, it is not here for stories. Perhaps it would like to trade instead. We have studied those lost magics that reach beyond this dimension. I can offer this for a price, of course. Soulbound bag expansion. Soulbound belt expansion. So I'm assuming these are permanent upgrades. I'll buy both. Seems seems good. Seems like a good choice. Big, do you play roguelikes on Android? Take a look at Buried Borns. Thank you. Hold on a second. Let me let me get that up on my phone right now. Is it on Android? Yes, I am a filthy Android user. Oh no, is it not the the one phone type? Oh no, it's the other phone type. Hold on. Let me, let me have a look at Buried Born, Buried Barns. Uh, buried Barns. Okay, I will check this out. This looks interesting. In fact, I'll, I'll install it right now. What's this? Looks like Barony. It is kind of like Barony. It is an, another kind of first-person roguelike-ish game, dungeon crawler. Anything cool over here? I didn't like that sound. That was a bad sound. Get rid of that bowl. Why you keep putting bowls in my inventory? Whoa. Enter the pit. Well, is this where I'm going? I thought it was maybe going over here. Do I have a choice about where I'm going? Uh-oh. Is 
Amulet of Health. Oh, that's nice. The, uh, the art style in this game is really nice. Okay, so we do have a choice. We can either go to the pit or down here. I don't know. I, I, I'm going to forego the pit this time. Oh, the music is so good, though. Good music can really make a difference, you know? another dagger for us. This uh, magic wand is like OP. It's got a heavy Team 17 art vibe. It does have a Team 17 art vibe, doesn't it? I think we do want to kill as much as we can because like that's extra experience for us. It kind of almost, um, this is not a compliment, but it kind of gives me escapist vibes. That, you know, that game escapist where you have to escape prison. That looked like a beholder. Oh, we're out of, uh, ju -ju 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 -ju. It's, it's gone. It's okay, we have tons of backup wands. Also, I'm not a mage. I've just been kind of using them up because they're very good range weapons. This one's not as good. Oh, whoops, did not mean to do that, I'm sorry. Uh, it would be the wild west of creativity and deep pockets. Is this game procedural? I'm pretty sure it is. Tell them, tell that to John Romero and him and Carmack decided to make Doom on their own. This is pre follow up for Bethesda. Team 17 did that game. Their art style is dis distinct. I don't see the escapist resemblance. Um, it's really just like in how the enemy people are designed. They got this kind of like chibi uh, lo-fi thing going on. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Okay. Increases movement speed. Maybe we should increase our defense. Nah, let's do our attack. Let's do something fun. Ouch. That was a bomb? We're gonna run out of uh, arrows. Oh, we get some arrows back. Wow, this does not kill things. Okay, that, that, that was okay. Um, next time he fights a humanoid, look at them. What is this called? Also, hey guys, hope you have a blessed stream. Simple. Hey, thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, this game is called Delver. And it's, it's going well so far. What do I do with these? Oh, there's a lever. 
There's actually a lever this time. How many arrows do I have left? Just one, okay. Okay, we gotta we gotta swap out our wands and do that quickly. Sorry, I keep whipping around it's not by choice i promise there's a weird kind of um i'd say like mouse resistance in this game where like if you push too quickly then you whip around um let's get rid of this cap maybe take a dark potion who knows maybe a dark potion is good Waiting for the stream release of the steam release of Dwarf Fortress. The same. What was that sound? I didn't like that sound. Okay, I think I'm gonna drop this wand. Oh no, we can drop that wand. I, uh, I now have to hold on to this charge forever. Nice. We're kind of running out of wands. Nobody has been in these ruins for centuries. What a find. The mount mountains ringing the tower have kept people away. The kingdom probably had portals to get here easier than we did. Uh, is that hinting at some fast travel, maybe? Uh, Bimple, are you into JRPG? Did you ever heard of Crystal Project? Um, is Crystal Project a visual novel? Um... I have a fairly limited palette when it comes to JRPGs. I like very few of them. Okay. I th think we want to do defense again. I'm going to do defense again. Just for extra survivability, you know? Um, I like... Like, I've played Super Mario RPG... Uh, I like a lot of the, like, to put it bluntly, Nintendo JRPGs. And then outside of that, um, I did play Grandia when I was a kid, and I have tried multiple times to beat it, but uh, never quite finished it. Grandia has got to be one of the longest JRPGs. Um, I haven't played basically any Final Fantasy game. Um, yeah. Oh, I did play, uh, I did play Dissidia through. Wait, no, not Dissidia, sorry, Disgaea. I always get those mixed up. I played the original Disgaea all the way through. Does that count? Uh, community will come down hard on the game with its performance. Sorry, which game? Oh, are you talking about Door Fortress? This environment looks really solid for a procedural game. I've only played like three hours of Morrowind, so I can't say a lot in the matter, but I believe you. I've played a little bit of Morrowind, but not a lot. Wait, take a look at it later if you could. 
Crystal Project. Okay, is it on uh, Steam? I see it. This is like new, isn't it? Ground D2 was like my favorite game as a kid. I like it. Um, there seems to be maybe a secret here. I don't know. Oh, there's a there's a thing up there, maybe. To be honest, only Morrowind and Postal 2 ever made true open world games. Everything else is just big and hollow. What about Elden Ring? Oh, what about Elden Ring, though? Elden Ring was pretty good. I enjoyed Elden Ring. I had a pretty good time. Why am I lost? There's only two ways to go. How can I be lost? Only more... Eh. To be honest, I, um, I too also feel that um, most open world games, for me personally, just kind of ring hollow. Uh, I, I get kind of burnt out on them and uh, sort of stop enjoying them halfway through. Like, I played, I think I told, I mentioned this on stream before. Oh, there's a, there's a potion here. Um, I played Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Also, I gotta turn the sound down. I feel like I'm yelling over it. Um, I played Assassin's Creed Odyssey kind of recently, semi-recently, like a year ago, I guess. And um, I just couldn't make it. Like, I played 80 hours of that game and I didn't even feel like I was halfway through it. It feels like open world games in, in a small way are designed to burn you out. That's what it feels like to me. Because you think about how many side quests there are, how many little missions, how many little mini games, how many little pickups and things and crafting this and that and and it all feels like very designed to make you feel like you got your money's worth and, and so basically just burn you out you never finish an open world game you just you just kind of stop playing it RDR2 was the best open world for me. I haven't played it. I played RDR1 though, and I will say this about RDR1. I finished it. So, you know, that's something. Literally anything. We need those arrows. Oh. Amulet of health, plus one. Fine amulet of health. Okay, well. I want that cheese. Time to start dropping daggers. It is time. Ugh. Time to start dropping daggers. This game's got a little bit of, um... Inventory management issues. I don't know when, like, you know what to not bring basically yo are we just about to close a giant circle here because i've already been here this is where i started oh my god true open world and standard open world game are very different than when i say open world in a bad way i mean like far cry lots of identical towers to conquer tons of things to do so much horse riding I like putting aside a game on my own terms as opposed to having no content left. Have you heard of The Hex? The Hex was the game, uh, that was a game made by the, um, Pony Island and- Oh, I just hurt myself a lot there. Pony Island and Inscription Dev, right? I 
I haven't played it, but I've heard good things about it. I haven't heard a lot of things about it, but all of them good, I, I assure you. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna need to eat some more food. Have you heard of Hex? Uh, it looks strange, but it's as tragic as Inscription. Oh, I love it. I love a good tragic game. Do these all have zombies in them? Is there a way to tell when you're about to level up? Okay, let's try this on. We'll see if it's any better. It's almost like we're playing Cud with all of the levels. Roguelike recommendation, Hyper hyper Dungeon Crawler. It's a roguelike that I didn't like super much, but you may like it more, and it's cheap. <laughs> That's quite the recommendation there. I didn't like it, but you might. It's really good. Wow, we got super poisoned there. Scroll of Discern Reality is quite the potion description. So note to self, those caterpillars are poisonous. Oh. Oh god. That was spooky. running away because they know they're going to die. I think agility would be the way to go. I heard some really bad sounds just now. God. Uh, I only have two arrows left. Oh, there's, uh, there's infighting. Nice. That's excellent. So I can't reach chat just at the moment. Nice. That was a good hit. Unfortunately, I am out of pretty much everything. We can use this, though. I keep forgetting there's no jump button. Ouch. What is this? Speed, negative two, magic, vapid amulet of speed. This seems bad. Um, hyper dungeon crawler. I'm going to see what fun I can have with Swarm Rack. Enjoy stream, everyone. I'll see you later. Take it easy. Thanks for thanks for watching. Oh, we have a we we've already made it to our next floor down. Lost City. Do you think this is another resting point or is this a boss?
This seems kind of spooky to me. That seems like a very big door. It doesn't budge. Hmm. This place is scary. <laughs> I don't like this. There's a lot of bones in here. Stuck. Secret has been revealed. Day 133. Effects of the right were not expected, but interesting nonetheless. Oh. Oh, we've got spoopy ghosts, though. Oh, my wand is broken. Um. Did that kill both of them? Five to 12 damage versus six to 10. I think this is better. Boss fight? Well, those ghosts are... I don't know. They're pretty tough. Seems to me I'm going down still. This is, uh, this is what I remember. This is what I remember of this game. So there's been a added, like, they've added quite a lot of extra levels. This, to me, was like level two, basically. I like the pipes. Ooh, that's nasty looking. I don't really want to waste these charges, so I gotta hold on to it for, like, ever. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Really didn't- I was trying to crouch. I didn't even know if crouch is a thing, but... Damn it. Uh, I'm gonna have to eat this cheese now. Should, should check out what this potion does. Are you a coffee or tea dude? I like both equally. Why choose? I mean, personally, I uh, I really enjoy tea in its moment, you know. But I definitely need a coffee, you know. I guess like I guess that's a, you know. Th there's your answer. Is like uh, tea is good. Like I I enjoy tea and I. I I, uh, you know, tea makes me happy, but like, I need a coffee, you know, coffee is necessary. Um, so maybe that, maybe that answers your question, but I don't, I wouldn't say I enjoy coffee more than tea. I just enjoy it different, you know, I don't know where I'm going. They taste the same if you add enough sugar. British people are very angry at your comment.
Um, I do, uh, like, I tend to take sweetener in my coffee and tea. Oh, wow. I, I don't think I was allowed to do that. But did it? I did. Do I have any arrows? No, I don't. I need some arrows. At least we can, like, one-shot kill those things. Maybe that, um, crate has some arrows in it. Nope. Oh, that didn't that didn't kill him. I don't want to have to melee fight those guys, but I'm going to have to now. I don't like the sounds that are happening right now. Oh, an arrow, four arrows, amazing. I was really hoping that would be enough to kill him. Wow, two is not enough. Oops. I wonder if uh, headshots are a thing. Well, that, that was not good. That was easy. I don't know what I was so afraid of. You're not allowed to admit you sweeten coffee. Not on the list of acceptable opinions. You're not wrong. Bimple, do, do that weapon swap work to cancel attack charge. That's an interesting idea. Is that better armor? Oh, um, let's kill this bat. Oh, never mind. The bat's fine. Uh, so we don't know what this leather armor is doing for us, but this leather armor is 4 AC guaranteed. Could, you know, let's drink this potion. Let's see what that does. It burns. That must be poison. Great. So we drank a different potion, and that one is restoring our health at the same time. That poison effect is really annoying. <laughs> As if on cue, there was a caterpillar which does poison damage. Cool, that guy will never be seen again. Um, I have no more ranged attacks. Which is very bad because there's a ranged dude over here and I don't know how I'm going to deal with him. I guess like this. Purple potion? Oh, you know, you asked me tea or coffee? Neither. Purple. Just purple. That was nice. Drop tack. This game seems kind of easy. This is um, it's kind of why I stopped playing it. Is uh, I'll, I'll tell you, not to be all like pro gamer or anything. Uh, I beat it on my first try. <laughs> that never happens for me ever with like any roguelike game. This feels like a secret. So I just kind of lost interest immediately. Not that it's bad, but if I beat it this time, and this is like years later, I'm like, okay. Thought maybe there was a secret over there. Come here, bat. Just a good smack will do ya. It's a lot of bats right now. Jeez. Oh no.
He's backing up. I won't I won't lie, this is a bit tricky. I think I, I kind of want to just run for the ladder. I'll have to deal with that later, maybe. Um, I get the feeling this game is competent, but not amazing. It, I mean, it seems like the type of game you'd get someone to play as their first roguelike. I, uh, I used to have a roommate that swore by this game, loved it, and I didn't play it at the time, like, I, I, I knew about it, uh, whoops, but, um, you know, I knew it was, like, a roguelike, right, so I was like, well, if you like this, you should try Caves of Cut, and they're like, eh, but Delver's really good, I'm like, okay, well, he played it for, like, 80 plus hours, and I think I understand why at this point. Is it's because it is it, it's it's a nice like introductory roguelike. Oh. Wow. Smacked him in the next week. I really need some healing. Oh. The fact that they back up when they're dying is like both clever but also really annoying. I'm gonna die. Oh, I broke the tankard. I don't think I have anything that can help me. Oh, what is this red potion? You feel better. Oh, nice. I need, like, food or something. Pokemon is a good starter RPG. Pokemon, like, that's a, it's weird. Like, Pokemon has become its own genre. It's like the monster gathering genre. You know? Really? Come here. Come here. If we could get him in that trap, that would be so good. Instead, we ended up in the trap. I can't believe we actually killed them. We have two health left. Um, We do have a bow. I should have used that on that guy. We have a, uh, a scroll of invisibility. I might use that just to, like, get through the rest of this dungeon. Where is it? Scroll of invisibility, there we go. Excuse me, shouldn't be able to see me. Is there nothing over here? Excuse me? Okay, where haven't we been? Okay, we gotta go back. I'm no longer invisible. 
This game's easy. Also, big simple. Is about to die. True. True and fair. It's kind of a death, the death of a thousand cuts, so you know. Oh. If we could level up, then I would get my health back. How did I miss that shot also? Yo, I want a, I want a freaking replay of that one. At least you can get your arrows back. We should get rid of these. They're not they're not not really good to us. Uh I say call him Daddy Dimple. <laughs> no. Resisting the urge to delete that. I appreciate that. I'd rather read it and hate it than never know what it was. Okay, it's got to be in this direction then. I think the the worst detriment to our health in this game is getting lost. Because you end up fighting a lot of extra stuff that you didn't need to. Also, what happened to the, our, like, source of wands? We just kind of, you know, lost all of our wands and got nothing back in return. I swear to God. We did level up. Oh my god. Okay, let's um, upgrade our defense still. Defense seems like, you know, what we want. I can't believe how many times we pulled it back. Oh. Oh, that frame hang up was bad. Nice. I don't care that I didn't get, kill them. I just care that I'm alive. Oh, that's that's nice. Ouch. Do we have any more arrows? We do. But that's it. Oh, I hate these things. Oh my god, please die. Die! Oh my god. <sighs> There's plenty of treasure down there. I don't think I want to go down there and get it, though. I picked up an interesting hammer. Didn't I? Did I not pick up the hammer? I thought there was an ha a hammer. Oh, it, here it is. I didn't pick it up. Oh. Where are you? Are you down there? Um, no. Neville, I swear to God, did you write, you'll never see this message and then delete it? Did you do something like that? Because I, I, I feel, I feel like that's going to happen. Or this was a bad message. It is a matter of the utmost regard. Is there a, a block button? What's the title of this? This is Delver. I don't think there is a block button. 
But you're right, I have been holding this buckler. I think it just adds to our AC. That's it. Like, it gives us a bit more defense. Ooh. Nice. Man, look at all this garbage. And I can't really hit any of it. Leaving the breach. We need more ranged weapons. Crumpled note. We're doomed. There was sound and shaking unlike anything I can describe, and a wave of heat that blistered exposed skin. Now we're trapped. The main paths up to the city are covered in rock. I don't know how we can survive down here much longer. We found something. The quake sh shook out a section of the sewer's retaining wall. It exposed something else. Parts of some kind of structure? How could something like that exist way down here? It must be ages old. It's decided. We're going to go down there. Maybe there is another way out. Papa Dimple is getting paranoid about these comments. I guess it's a paratop. Wow. Washed away. I just got an achievement. Washed away. Excuse me? That looks like uh, Realm of the Mad God. Do I have to go down here? Oh, there's a ladder. <laughs> no time for ladders. Didn't we get some new armor or something? Oh, we got this excellent gilded mace. And King's Gilded Hammer. If only we got some gold out of that. Alrighty. Well, this uh, feels definitive. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, geez. Alright, well, I almost fell into lava, like, instantly. Oh my god, okay. Little skull bros. They're ripping me apart. I, I wish we'd gotten another save point before delving down into this mess. Well, I have six health left. Resist magic. Paralysis. Resist magic. Discern reality. Um, let's get some more, some better weapons in our group. I don't know why I'm carrying that around. Uh, is there a word for how the most dangerous part of any roguelike is the start of a new level? Y yeah, it's called bullshit. <laughs> Small complex. Did you can try to cancel the charge attack by swapping weapons? Oh. Yeah, that's that. You, you figured it out. That's it. That's how you do it. Realm of the Mad God, I prefer the fan mod. Realm of the Dad God, the mini game where you have to hold a flashlight steady for your dad or else he gives you a belting with super tense. What is this bit? Is moderate, medium between big, simple, and small complex? Moderate, medium. No, that would be, uh, it's moderate challenging. Wish I had some arrows. Wish I had any ranged whatsoever. I could win. I could honestly beat this. If, if I had any ranged at all. Ow. 
Ouch. I'm, that's the end. I got so far. Goodbye, Delver. Better luck next life. I made it so very far. Dab Dabby Dimple, how long is the stream going to be? It's going to be, well, actually, that might be the end of the stream. You died. How to resist magic, but oh, you're right. I did have a resist magic potion. Damn it. I could have I could have gotten through that. Damn it. Let's see what this game has to offer in the form of uh you know, progression. Welcome back. I have some new scrolls. So we get to keep our money and um the best we get for meta progression is we get to buy equipment for our next rundown, maybe? More to you than there seems. That the inhabitants of this place exported a unique crystal and this business made them extremely wealthy. Did you find these those mines? I would expect there to be quite a large network of them. So actually, not a lot in the way of uh, meta progression, which I do appreciate. Just like, you know, a little bit of a helping hand on the next run. That's, uh, that's, you know, as much as I can tolerate, I think. Why did you ask it? Well, the thing is, it's not because they asked. Uh, you know, I just died. I don't think I want to do another run. And that means there's 20 minutes left on the stream. And that seems like a good place to end things. Unless there's a 20 minute thing that we can do. What What's 20 minutes? Caves of Cud? Caves of Cud in 20 minutes? You retracted the, mes the message. Need to ration those arrows? You know, that's probably a good idea. That, that would have helped me a lot. End of stream and Cud still haven't beaten different. Um... I think next next uh, week we'll we'll do some streets of rogue or C cud, but as everyone has kind of uh, you know, I, I think it was Neville you said that since the stakes are not very high on the current cud run, maybe the best thing to do would be to start a new run of caves of cud. Might be the thing to do. See how fast you can queue. Listen, how's your slug man doing? My slug man. Oh. Um, that's the cursed run. I accidentally wore the amaranthine prison. And basically, that run, like, I, I will come back to it and I'll probably finish it, maybe uh, for a series. But I don't, I, outside of that, I'm not sure. Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup is a browser based rogue. Thanks for the amazing stream. Looking forward to the next one. Don't forget about Beneath Orisa. I downloaded it, so I can't forget because it's on the top of my list. I'll probably do a, a do a let's try of that tomorrow. You became slug. I did become slug. I became big slug. Big slug simple. That's my name. What does dying of no willpower look like? Pretty sure you just, it just, you died. You ran, you ran out of willpower. Um, so if anyone missed it, uh, there's more people here, but I will, I guess I'll just, uh, give you a send off. Keep a lookout tomorrow. I'm going to be ha putting up some pilots for a series. Basically this, these are just going to be like kind of one-off episodes for series. And if they do well, then I will actually do series. These will include, um, Kerbal Space Program and Cook, Serve, Delicious. So pilots for those will be going up in the next couple of days. If those interest you, definitely check them out. Don't do it out of obligation. Definitely don't do it just to support the channel because then then all my analytics will be weird and wonky. Of course, I know you're all here to watch and 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 be entertained, so hopefully they are entertaining to you. Um outside of that, expect more uh probably more some uh, more Jupiter Hell. 
That should be coming up. Um, more sock pop videos coming up. More punk cake. And, uh, you know, of course, more Let's Tries because those are always fun and uh, I, I get, you know, people seem to like them. So, the Extreme 1 game, If Shotgun King. Weirdly, and the cooks are delicious, so I'll be interested to see someone else make, make sense of that one. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite games. Uh, I could do some Shotgun King. Oh, you, you're saying we should we could do one Shotgun King. You know what? That's actually not a bad idea. Sh I can lose a game in sh of Shotgun King in like 20 minutes. Less than. Let's do that. Um, good idea. You saved it. Save the stream. First you killed it, then you saved it. <laughs> you didn't have to. You didn't actually kill it. But Hold on. I got to pull it up. Punk Cake, Shotgun King, Shotgun King, then I got it captured again. Give that person a cookie. The cookie comes in the form of more content. All right. If you didn't see my let's the, the the play of this game, I'm very bad at this. I'm not sure why you would want to watch me play this because I'm like really horrendously bad at this. And I thought I was good at chess, both Shotgun King and and uh, Stacklands. Heck yeah! It's been a really good uh, like month for very small games that become inexplicably very popular. Okay, we've got our, our king, or sorry, our horse. So, who was it? Was it you, RGB, that said uh, that the, the the shields are like mistakes you've made and that, that, that way they didn't have to program the, um, like, what constitutes a checkmate? I think that's really clever. That's a really clever way of doing that. You gotta take take these guys out. Cause the the big boy pieces are really make life difficult on you. Wow, they, they're still not dead. Still not dead! horse there we go this game looks really tough it is tough it is really tough okay uh extra soul slot white king has negative one hp this is nice pawns plus one hp sacrifice one rook add six pawns this could be okay but then plus two firepower though black king starts with two extra ammo add one rook This is really nice. One extra rook, I can deal with that. The shield give you warnings. If you're about to move into a space where you'll die, the game will make a noise and the shield will disappear. Do you get your shields back if you make a good move? Oh no, is that that's not checkmate already, is it? Um they do come back, I just can't remember the frequency. Oh, uh, okay. Oh no! No! See, I'm bad at this game. Oh yeah, forgot about the shotgun. <laughs> oh yeah. You're dead. No, shotgun. It was a good call, actually. Really good call. 
on playing this game because I, I did mean I was meaning to play more of this game and maybe like actually try and win but damn if it ain't if it ain't hard Almost made a bad move there. Three, one more. There we go. Thought I was watching normal chess for a second. I know, right? Strafe mode, right click a target. Oh, this is one of my favorite. The The royal loafers are really, really nice. Uh, add two knights. This one, pawns plus one HP, sacrifice one rook. I, I, this seems okay to me. Lots of pawns, but that's okay. The rooks are honestly way more difficult to deal with. Um, so we just kind of have to horse our way around these. We're going to need some more ammo, I think. Okay, the biggest thing that concerns me is... Can we go here? No, we can't. Okay. Is um, the pawns getting to the end? Done. Nice. Thought I was watching normal shows. Just don't let the pawns get to the end. Yeah. Increase pawn speed, sacrifice one knight, add two pawns. More pawns. Shotgun. Oh, right. I have the slippers. I completely forgot. Plus two fire range. Let's go for higher firepower. The nice thing about this is uh, the, the things that the, the slippers let you do is shoot the king in the face. Like right in the face. They're, they're about to move, though. Oh. Okay, so... We don't have a, we don't have a bullet, unfortunately. We should be able to do this all the same. Oh my god, I can't believe they're still alive. Um, so we're not doing well right now. Oh god. Oh, we can't kill them now. Oh my god. Can we do this and then move here? Yes! Oh, that was a clutch move right there. Like reloading your shotgun? Okay, I gotcha. Plus three extra ammo. You can't escape her. Add one queen. Plus one firepower. Let's do plus one firepower. Yeah, that's that's why I like the, um, the slippers is they give you a little bit of a tactical edge. It doesn't let you move. What? Oh my god. Um, this is not good. Okay, time to queen out of there.
damn it. Where's our souls? How come we don't have any souls right now? Okay, okay. Sorry, my commentary is like nothing right now because I, I, I can't, I can't think and talk. It's, it's a problem. No, no. How did that happen? Who is better, sock pop or punk cake? Oh no, I'm not doing that. Cannot say both are equal. I'm not. I'm not. I wouldn't do that. That would be unkind to either. Well, that was that was a better run than normal. Take that, horse. I like the music. The music in this game is like surprisingly like really good. Oh no. Oh no, I think that, okay, it's not checkmate. It was almost checkmate though. Sock Pop have been have been at it for a minute. Like they've been they've been uh, their output is kind of crazy, and uh, they've got like a lot of really cool games under their belt. Punk Cake are very new, and like their games are are excellent so far. They're they're really really good. So I wouldn't say that either is better than the other. Like they they're both excellent. You know. Charge one additional shell in your royal shotgun. Plus 10% spread. Add six pawns. You can play an extra turn after using a soul card. That sounds really good. Let's do that. And we only add three pawns. But I guess we don't get to sacrifice a bishop. Has anyone in chat beaten this game? Oh, oops. Oh, that was nice. Except I'm pretty sure I'm in checkmate and there's nothing I can do. I don't think I can do anything now. That was fun. Just as that Sockpaw revealed that they're going to be giving actual major updates to Stacklands in the next couple months. Yeah, that was a that was a surprise. They've never really done that. They rarely, like, um, kind of follow up on a game. But I think that Stacklands has become, like, it became a very overnight success. Like, I saw, like, PC Gamer talking about it. And I'm like, well, they did, they did a lot of good games. Stacklands is one of them. I just find it's it's to me it was very inexplicable. Like I had like hundreds of views on my so uh, Stacklands video, and then I had thousands of views, and that never happens. It was ridiculous. I mean, very uh, very welcomed. <laughs> yeah. I got I have new viewers now that expect a lot of Stacklands content. <laughs> nice. There's the new inscription overnight card sensation. I have more here's the thing, Kevbo. I have more views on like the six or seven Stacklands videos I put up than any one inscription video. It's like far and above more popular than any of my previous series. Sacrifice one knight, add two bishops. You can play an extra turn after using a soul card. I like the blunderbuss. 
rooks negative two HP, add two rooks. This is gonna be, oh sorry, add one pawn to uh, one rook. Stack lands is better than cud. You heard it here for first folks. It's bigger than sliced bread. It's bigger than Jesus. And on his birthday, wait, no, it's uh, the other one. And none of those are gonna work for me. This is better though. Oh, are we in checkmate again? Oh my God. I really do that to myself, don't I? It's the white king is way more dangerous than I think every time. You played inscription like months before it got popular. Really? I, I kind of like just expected that game to become popular. Like it had, it had not, you know, this is going to sound rude, but it had flavor of the month written all over it. I just, um, I expected the series I did to be more popular. <laughs> Oh, this better not be checkmate. Oh, I swear to God. Okay, hold on. No, shoot him. Oh my God. This game reminds me of Hoplite. Hoplite is amazing. I wish I could play Hoplite on uh, on like stream or do a series on it, but it's like only mobile. Extra soul slot, white king has negative one HP. Yeah. And I like the this one because it's a bishop, bish, more bishops at turn 20. It's like, whatever, I can deal with that. No, no, that's an instant checkmate. Oh my God. You gotta watch those. You gotta watch those. I wanna get a win. I want to beat this game. I watched all your inscription videos then after a bit of time, it got really popular. Well, not with me. Where's my popularity? I want to be the big simple. I want to be the biggest simple. There we go. Inscription is a fantastically fun game. Casey's mod has added a lot of its replay. Yeah, I uh, I ought to check that out. I know that there is a mod... Uh, the KC mod was was added in it, and it's really good. Add two pawns. This seems really good. Charge one additional shell and your royal shotgun. No, this seems really good. I, I keep misclicking. Oh. I think the key in this game is you gotta kill something like every turn. And that way you can like slowly dwindle away some of the worst defenders on the board. I like Casey's mod, but God, am I bad. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Militia is really tricky, but Royal Loafers, though. Shotgun plus two fire range. Sacrifice two pawns, add one rook. This could be good. I'm pretty sure my ro the rooks have less health. Is there a way to check my previous cards? Let me look at... Uh, yeah, rooks have less health, so adding rooks is actually not, a, not as big of a deal 
as one would think. I have more range now. Yeah, shotgun has more range. Oh no. There we go. All right, doing well. We're doing well. I sure hope there aren't 10 levels in this game because that would be ridiculous. Extra soul slot, white king has negative one HP. This is gonna make the white king very easy to kill. This is very tempting though. The lore after you win is interesting. So cool to see how your channel grows. I mean, when I started watching you, you only had like 100 subs. Yeah, thank you. I honestly don't know what I'm doing at all. But I'm glad it's working. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm happy that uh, I'm growing because that means I'm not like, to put it bluntly, wasting my time. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're not in checkmate, are we? Uh Man, this sucks. What? I didn't hit them at all? Oh. This is bad. I think this is the only place I can go. I think that's it. There's not much else I can do now. Damn. If you get one card per level, there's 13 levels. Uh... No, because then, because there's, you get one, uh, one card on both sides, so there'd be ten levels. That's assuming that it ends on the tenth floor. That sucked, by the way. I was doing really well. I think you gotta you gotta take some of the shots that look like they're they're gonna miss because they're still worth like you still do some damage right. Really? Oh my god! <laughs> We're out of ammo. Wow, that was insane. Or 11 if I can, <laughs> listen. Sacrifice one bishop, add two knights. This seems fine. I, I Strafe mode is just so good. Maybe starting this was a bad idea because now I'm running, I'm running into five o'clock. Why? Oh, I see. See, the best... The, the thing I like the most... Uh, oh, God. About um, Strafe is being able to shoot the king, like, right in the face, so we guarantee the max damage. Also, being able to shoot while you're in threat is really nice. So we can get like right here and then 
Target him, shoot him, four damage. You wouldn't get a card after the final level without then being able to use it. Ergo 10 plus one. True. That is true. And it, it, you know what? There might be uh, more than one level after you get your 10th card. Increase spawn, spawn speed, sacrifice one knight at two pawns. Adding an additional shot with strafe is very, very powerful. Especially when you, like, can kill something. But the the pawns have more speed is the only problem. Luckily, white is not super, like, aggressive and doesn't make a queen every time. Because if they did, I would my goose would be cooked. Can play an extra turn after using a soul card. This would be really good. Charge one additional shell in your royal shotgun. So that means we get to charge three? Oh, wow. I didn't look at the other effect, did I? Oh, it's it's the queen. Queen no matter what, okay. Oh, fun, fun thing you can do. You can use strafe while you use souls. Did I seriously get nothing there? Wow. Um, this might be game over. Pretty sure it's game over. Shoot. Uh, I gotta watch out for those plus spread debuffs, so they stack up fast and make you so weak if you're not right next to the enemy. I always get the accuracy boost when I can. Okay. Yeah, v valuable, valuable lesson there. All right, one more. One more. Ah. I don't know how chess works. I'm just doing like really meager damage, but chipping away at the king. Wow. There you go. Checkmate. <laughs> okay. Extra soul slot. White king has negative one HP. Sacrifice one pawn, add one bishop. It can be a pain in the butt, but I'll take it. I'll, I'll try it over the plus one spread. Wow. Really? Oh, what? What? Oh my god. Okay, hold on. One more. One more. Just one more.
I almost checkmated myself there. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know why I did that. That's like the worst thing you can do is move in a way that the king can like put you in threat on every turn. Can't one shot kill a bishop with no damage buffs. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Add two bishops at the... Yeah. Shotgun plus two fire range. Perfect. Perfect. Mm. The pawns really got in the way of the rook. Get out of here, rook. Oh no. The worst thing is that they put it they put them on both black and white, so they become like that's, that's the only way a bishop can become a problem, is if you have two of them on both squares. Oh, uh, take it easy, Neville. Sorry I missed your, your Sia. Yeah, this is almost done. Uh, plus 20% spread. Add two pawns, one rook. We'll go for the firepower. I know, I know the spread is bad. Your channel is growing so fast because when your channel is too big, I don't have time to read all your comments. You'll probably not even see. Listen, I read every comment and that will never change. Promise. I don't, I don't uh, reply to them as frequently as I did, but I do read them all. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh yeah. We had a damage buff. We had a damage buff. Wow. That's nonsense. All right, that's got to be the last one. That's got to that's going to no, no. Cuz we could be we could one more until I until I die in real life. In real life. Anyway, uh, thank you super a lot, super so much for <laughs> for uh, hanging out. Stream has been was a really good one today. I appreciate it. We played some weird games. We played some some new games, sort of. I guess. No, they're mostly all old games. Um, definitely keep an eye out for some of the stuff I got coming up. Um, and if you want to support the channel, go ahead and hit that like button. It means more to me than subscribing to a Patreon. Call back. That was a long time ago. That was hours ago. Thanks very much. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.